Hi y'all, so I wanted to start the year off right by saying Happy New Year. I hope you guys had an eventful holiday season, but I'm at work and honestly, the assignment that I have today is a little bit stressful. I wanted to do another week in the life of a senior because I feel like it is good to get an inside perspective without giving too much information because obviously you have to uphold the rules of like being a senior, like what it's like working in a nursing home in New York, especially going through a pandemic. And obviously you guys can see that I have my hair covered because I don't want to take anything home with me. I don't have my hair covered every single day, but when I work on the floor that I'm specifically working on today, one of the nurses always gives these out. And I do have some at home, I just always forget to bring them with me. But um, yeah, this is a week in the life of a senior living in New York, working in a pandemic. Okay. I um I've been on this floor for the last maybe month and I've been just floating around from assignment to assignment because I am a float attempt pretty much. So I do whatever the open assignment is, whichever residents there are. However, for the last like month I've been like bopping all over the place. The people keep changing because it's a rehab floor. So it's kind of all over the place. You kind of get used to the residents, but then not really because they change so often. So it's like you're in a constant state of change, which is good for me because sometimes I don't really like routine, even though sometimes, especially in this case, I would have preferred to have a routine, but that's not the case here. Anyways, I gotta go because it's nine o'clock, which means that I need to start getting people ready for physical therapy because they come on the floors early. So, um, I'll see you guys later or tomorrow. So right now I'm kind of finishing up my lunch break, but I wanted to pop in and pretty much give you guys who are not seeing a easy rundown of like the routine currently in the room. So the routine is you come in, you get an assignment with like all the residents that you have to take care of for the day and somebody else who is familiar with the floor, pretty much like the charge nurse will tell you which resident you take out first if you leave them in their room in the chair if you leave them in bed or if you bring them in the dining room you have to do um tpr temperature pulse respiration and their oxygen level because on the machine that checks it's called the pulse ox it checks their, their pulse and their oxygen level and then um that most times they want it by like 10 a.m and then you have to sometimes see which one of the residents their weights are outstanding then you take their weights you know you wash them up you get them dressed and you put them wherever they're supposed to go, like in the dining room or in their room or whatever the case is. Normally in the morning is when physical therapy comes for most of the residents. The one who don't have the ones who doesn't have physical therapy in the morning, they have that in the afternoon. Pretty much like after their lunch. And so if they didn't go down then you have to get them ready for afternoon physical therapy and then you have to get your break. And then so it's pretty much like a hectic day because you have to do quite a few things for a few residents but still take your break and still do everything else that is required outside of patient care kind of because everything is kind of related to patient care anyways so you do everything for your residents and before the day ends you know you have to go back and like change them and stuff like that it's pretty much similar to how you take care of children if you have children so if you've had kids then um it's not such a hard job for you but sometimes it really does get challenging because you have up to 10 residents sometimes that you have to take care of for the day and you have to do everything that's required anyways in a nursing home it is more work than it is in a hospital setting because you do more for them here but it's something about it that i i enjoy i'm not just interacting with the residents it's good when you get to meet their day and they're happy to see you because they're so familiar with you that they are excited when they see you. they notice when you're not at work and the next day they ask you how's your day off you know just little things but for the most part, that is like a rundown of the day as a senior. Before the day ends, before the shift ends, you have to do your books. So you pretty much have to chart for all the residents that you had, everything that you did for them, you know, BMs and urine, all of that. So pretty fascinating to say the least. It would have been more interesting if I was able to show all of those things, but we can't. I'm already a little stressed that it's just 8 a.m. But um, I'm hoping to just breeze through the day. Yesterday was my day off and we went in the city to just walk around and spend some time in the city and that was nice but I'm already stressed so I'm kind of in the bathroom hiding out a little bit until later. A tire. A 
made or covered in this little headband wig. I'm about to go outside to help with breakfast. Day two, same floor, um, literal same assignment. Let me just tell you how this assignment that I have literally killed me yesterday because the floor that I'm working on is a rehab floor, which means that everybody is pretty alert and oriented. And so it's so physically demanding and everybody wants something. So you don't really feel like you get to catch a break. Every 45 seconds, you're here and there and just all over the place, which is all over the place. But I'm specifically that person who prefers to have something that keeps me going all day, but I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday is not my preference. <laughs> Of something that keeps me going all the time. A little bit too much. But what are we gonna do? Can't complain. I mean, you can't complain, but you still can't change anything, so it's pointless. So, yeah, same floor, same assignment, same struggling. Today, when I go home, I wanna change my sheets and clean up in my bedroom a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna get to do that because I think I'm a little bit tired. I can feel it. So, I think I wanna go home and sleep today. I don't know. I really have to see how that goes. But um, we'll see. It's just nine o'clock and I have a long day ahead. Another day at work. I'm on the same floor, but I have a different assignment this time because another one opened up. And honestly, the way how I was struggling the last however many days with the one that I had, I really wanted to give something else a try. I thought, listen, if that was so rough, anything else would be better. And this one, I'm familiar with it because I've done it before, so I know that it's a little bit better. Um, <laughs> earlier, I gave one of my ladies some mouthwash and she literally drank it because you know she doesn't understand what I'm saying even though I showed her the motions of like rinsing and spitting she just doesn't understand so that was quite the experience but um I'm pretty much here and I feel way better about the day today considering the fact that I'm already with a different assignment so that's great um I have a late lunch today so I think I'm gonna go upstairs and eat with my friend because typically that is what I would do if um I have this late lunch so that should also be nice. Um, I'm going into the weekend very strong. Hopefully I don't get stuck with that assignment again because honestly, I would have died. Like this morning I told one of the ladies, I was considering calling out, considering the fact that I knew that I may have gotten stuck with that assignment and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm glad you're here. But I'm glad I'm here too because we're not working short today. So that should give a for a smoother day, but we're here. 10, 12 a.m., first bathroom break. Almost done with my assignment. I just have two people. One I'm gonna go to when I leave here, the other one is not ready anytime soon. So we're rolling through the day and it looks like it's gonna be kind of a smooth day. Don't even want to put that out in the atmosphere so soon yet because I may think of change. But so far it seems like everything is gonna be good. So we're going to sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go out there and finish it to people and then it's gonna be time for my lunch. Successfully made it through 98% of the shift and I'm so so glad. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have to eat good night. Do I wanna drink something when I go home? I don't know, but I feel like at this point, maybe I earned a little drink. Hi y'all, I wanna use this opportunity to wrap up the week in my life at the CNE in New York, working in a nursing home. I hope that last year treated you okay and that this year treats you way better than last year did and I'll see you guys in the next video.